Hi guys, it's John here, and this is just a very quick video on my S22 Ultras here and the battery life over the last 12 months. So do you know I bought the Exynos 2200 and the Snapdragon 8 Gen 1 variants, and these have been used in very, very different ways. So I stuck with the Exynos 2200, not because of its performance in games, but because of the battery performance, which over, or in its initial 10 to 11 months, it was much better than the Snapdragon 8 Gen 1. So this was used as my primary phone, and I didn't do anything special with the charging. I charged it 100% every night and left it on charge 100% until I woke up. I didn't, you know, charge it to 80% and then start charging at 20% or 40%. This has been what I would say used and abused as much as possible without even thinking about the health of the battery. On the other hand, my Snapdragon 8 Gen 1 has basically been sat on this desk apart from the times I've taken it out or used in tests. So it's been sat in idle mode basically with the always on display on, but every time it got down to, you know, 10 or 5% or even zero, if I missed it, I'd then charge it back up to 100% and leave it fully charged again until the next time it needed charging. So this, has, like I said, has been used very, very differently to my Exynos 2200. I also used to charge this wirelessly every night. So it's had wireless charging, to 100% and left on overnight. And it's also had cable charging 100% left overnight. So whenever I felt I needed to, this would be charged up to 100%. Snapdragon just left until required. So I've installed ba AccuBattery and it's been obviously gathering data from the last 12 months or so. It hasn't got the full data on the Exynos because I did factory set it after the 5.0 One UI update. So it's only got a few months worth of data here, but the interesting thing I found was that the battery health on both is showing at 94%. So the fact these have been used so differently between them is interesting to see that battery health at 94%. Now, I know AccuBattery isn't necessarily the most realistic or accurate thing in the world, but it just gives you an idea as to how they have both performed. So like I say, this is the full data here from the Snapdragon variant here. And this is just since December last year. So again, not the full details in the graph at least, but you can get a bit of an idea as to whether or not you think the way you use your phone is correct or not. Now you can see here the capacity loss per year is showing us 10.9% here and 5% here. Obviously that's not correct because this is only being judged on the last uh, three months on the Exynos here. And as you can see, it's only lost 6% in 12 months. So that 10% is not correct. But the interesting thing is obviously the different wear and tear you can see here, and obviously you can pause and have a quick look if you want to see how things have been. Again, the battery wear chart, unreliable sadly on the Exynos because I didn't even think about the fact when I reset the phone it would lose all the data, so that's my fault on that. But yeah, it's just a quick update really to show that it doesn't matter really how you use your phone particularly, you're going to lose around about the same percentage of battery health per year, whether you use your phone constantly and charge up to 100%, and don't worry about taking it off the charger. Or if you do take it off the charger and let it run down, you know, normally and just charge up when you need to, it doesn't seem to really affect, at least in these two phones I have here, the main sort of health of your battery. I'll just go through some of the other settings if you want to have a quick look through them. Just bear in mind that this has only got data since December. So I do apologize about that. But yeah, it's been, like I say, it's very interesting to see that. Now, the reason I used it in this way is because I always get an upgrade uh, to the latest Samsung phone, so I don't really care about my battery in the nicest possible way. But it turns out maybe it doesn't even matter that much because if you're losing 6%, uh, no matter how you use it after a year, that's just how it is, I suppose. But uh, yeah, I guess in the old days, you did worry about these things because battery technology and battery life was quite a big thing back in the old days. I used to do battery tests on my old HTC phone and it was a uh, very different uh, time in the world of Android back then. But yeah, like I say, 94% after a year of use isn't bad. So I guess if you could lose about 6% a year, you'll know, obviously, after about two or three years, you'll be down to about 70 or 80% of your battery's health. So yeah, hopefully this was useful. Like I say, just a quick video, just to go over that before I send my Exos 2200 back to Samsung. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please do like and subscribe, and I'll see you again in the next one.